Hello and welcome to our channel. Today we're going to be looking at making a little silver obelisk. If you like what we're doing, please hit like and don't forget to subscribe. Here I am at my favorite hunt, the local Rona store, getting some scrap strapping. Favorite place to get it. Nice and safe. They let us on there. It's all good. They say the price is right. It's just hard to get out of there sometimes. There, the straps are all cut to length. Now I'm just going to straighten them out a bit so I can get them nice and flat and get ready to paint them. Get them all relatively close to each other so I don't waste a lot of paint when I'm painting them. Just straighten them out here and get ready to go. Here I'll be using a silver spray paint. It's really quite nice. It has a beautiful sheen to it. Like I say, you just use quick little strokes. Get that paint on there and don't waste too much. It's a pretty nice looking color. There we go. The Rust-Oleum. Look at that. Isn't that great? Ah, what a shine. Now we take the painted product and we're going to get ready to drill some holes. Just checking they're not quite all perfect length, but we'll make it all work. So I've got my little felt pen here to mark where I'll be cutting. I see I have one piece cut there and I'll just mark with that one so I don't have to remeasure everything. all measured out so now we're ready to drill and here we go start at the end work our way down have it all ready to put together soon Here I have an assortment of lamp toppers and different drawer pulls that we're gonna that I'm gonna look at to see which one I think looks best for this project. Just checking all the screws and making sure everything fits properly because they're not all exactly from the same place. That's about the only thing we've spent money on were the screws and the nuts that you see just on my right hand side there. So it probably cost us two dollars altogether. I've decided to use our little pineapple topper because it's pretty cool looking. So I'm just going to paint it that silver so it'll all match up nice. Such a small little item, probably take just as much paint to paint that. <laughs> oh, but look at that. What a nice finish, eh? Pretty cool. So now with everything painted and all ready to go, I'll be putting in our topper first. So we'll put all the strips on onto the screw there. There, everything's on our little screw. Now put on the topper. Like I say, just make sure you don't put it on too tight, but you want it tight enough so it doesn't fall apart or spring away on you either. <laughs> so there, that's all tightened up. Now you take it one strip at a time. You'll put each end, put the screw through each end. So you'll take one end of one band, take the other end of that same band, and you'll do that repeatedly with all the other bands. Otherwise it doesn't fold out and go into a little ball very well. Now the strip length we used on these ones were a little shorter than the other ones. I think these ones are about 30 inches or so. So the smaller or the shorter the bands, the harder they are to put together too because it's hard to get all the ends on there and staying on there. Just a little more tension, I guess. But we did get it all on there, and here we are now tightening it. Like I say, you don't want it super duper tight, just tight enough so it doesn't spring away, and tight enough so that you can move it around, and then you can do your final tightening once you have your little ball sheet. And there we go. One little silver obelisk. Ta-da. <laughs> 
So now it's my job to decorate the sweet little obelisk. So I'm reusing a strand of lights that I got from Dollar Tree last year and I put rechargeable batteries in it. So I'm just doing a rough measure to see how many times around I can get this and then I will do a more detailed wrap around and around the band. So I found the easiest way to do it is wrap basically the excess around your hand so you have a little bundle and just wrap around the strap. Now unfortunately most of this is off screen but um, uh, I did just go around. I did about every second one. I, I wrapped probably about inch apart as I went around and around. So I turned the lights on and it doesn't even show how reflective it is, but on the silver, the lights just glow inside. It's just so pretty. I was like really happy with the result. And boy, do I love making it silver. It's just so reflective and pretty. So I'm using a little snowflake from Dollar Tree uh, to hang on the inside. Obviously in Canada, we can't be putting plants in our little obelisks in the winter. So I still like to use them and put them outside. So I'm just going to hang a little ornament on the inside and boy, that's going to look really nice on my front porch. So I'm just reusing an old twist tie to hang it. Um, it's not really noticeable once you get it on there that I use twist ties. So I just wanted to make it really secure and not use like some something too fine. So with the white, it looks pretty good. And just to cover up the bottom, I tuck in a little snow blanket around. Um, if you are gonna leave it outdoors, uh, just touch a little hot glue in there just to secure it so it doesn't like blow away on you. But uh, that's pretty much it. A little snow blanket on the bottom. I'm keeping it pretty simple. I just wanted it to be really pretty and really reflective of the sparkles and the metallic obelisk. Please consider liking and subscribing. I hope you enjoyed our video. Thanks for joining us today.